How to Diagnose Lupus Lupus is an autoimmune disease that affects approximately 1.5 million Americans. It primarily affects the organs, such as the brain, skin, kidneys, and joints. Its symptoms often masquerade as signs of other illnesses, so the condition can be difficult to diagnose. One, it is good to know the symptoms and diagnosis procedures for lupus so that you can be prepared. You should also know the causes so that you can avoid potential triggers. Method 1. Recognizing Lupus Symptoms 1. Check your face for a butterfly rash. An average of 30% of lupus patients develop a characteristic rash over the face often said to look like a butterfly or wolf bite. The rash spans across the cheeks and nose, often fluttering out over the entirety of the cheeks and occasionally covering a portion of skin near the eyes. Also check for discoid rashes around your face, scalp, and neck. These rashes show up as red, raised patches, and they can be so severe that they leave scars even after they're gone. Pay special attention to rashes triggered or worsened by sunlight. Sensitivity to ultraviolet light, whether natural or artificial, can trigger sores on sun-exposed parts of the body and may worsen a butterfly rash on your face. This rash is more severe and develops faster than a usual sunburn would. 2. Note any mouth or nasal source. If you frequently get sores on the roof of your mouth, along the side of your mouth, on your gums, or inside your nose, this could be another warning sign. In particular, this is often the case if these sores are not actually sore. In most cases, mouth and nasal sores associated with lupus are paint-free. If these sores get worse than sunlight, this is an even stronger sign of lupus. This is called photosensitivity. 3. Look for symptoms of inflammation. Inflammation of the joints, lungs, and the lining around the heart commonly occurs in patients who have lupus. On top of this, blood vessels are usually inflamed. For most notably, you might see inflammation and swelling around the feet, legs, hands, and eyes. If you have inflamed joints, they may feel warm and tender and look swollen and red. Inflammation of the heart and lungs can be detected at home based on chest pain. If you feel a sharp chest pain when you cough or take a deep breath, you can count this as a possible symptom. The same applies if you feel shortness of breath during these periods. Other signs that your heart or lungs could be inflamed include abnormal heart rhythms and the coughing up of blood. Inflammation can also take place in the digestive tract and can be spotted through symptoms like abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. For Pay attention to your urine. While urine abnormalities can be hard to detect at home, there are a few symptoms you might be able to detect. If a kidney is unable to filter your urine due to lupus, your feet might swell. Worse yet, if your kidneys have begun failing, you might feel nausea or weakness. 5. Note any problems with your brain and nervous system. Lupus can affect the nervous system. Some symptoms, like anxiety, headaches, and vision problems, are common and difficult to assign to lupus. However, Seizures and changes in personality are concrete symptoms taken very seriously. Note that while headaches are very common with lupus, they can be very difficult to attribute to the disease. Headaches are common and have many possible causes. 6. 
ask yourself if you are more fatigued than usual. Extreme fatigue is another common symptom of lupus. It can be caused by a number of different factors, but often these factors can be linked to lupus. When fatigue is accompanied by fever, you may be even more certain that it is lupus. 7. Watch for other strange things in your body. You may notice that your fingers or toes change color white or blue when you're exposed to cold. This is called a nod phenomenon and is common with lupus. You may also notice dry eyes and shortness of breath. If all of these symptoms occur together, you may be dealing with lupus. Method 2. Diagnosing Lupus 1. Prepare for your appointment with the doctor. You can go to any general physician for a lupus diagnosis, but the doctor may refer you to a rheumatologist who may order more confirmatory tests and help manage symptoms with specific medication for lupus. Typically, though, the start of a professional medical diagnosis will be at a standard physician's office. Before your appointment, write down information about when your symptoms began and how frequent they are. Also make a note of any medications and supplements you take as possible triggers. If a parent or sibling has ever had lupus or another autoimmune disorder, you should bring that information with you as well. Patient and family history are very important for diagnosing lupus. 2. Prepare for an anti-nuclear antibody and a test. Genic is an antibody that attacks proteins in the body, and these on are present in most people with an active form of lupus. This is often used as an initial screening test. However, not everyone with a positive ANA test has lupus. Further tests are needed to confirm the presence of lupus. For example, the positive ANA test can also indicate scleroderma, Sjogren's syndrome, and other autoimmune diseases. 3. Get a complete blood count. This blood test measures the amount of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and hemoglobin in your blood. Certain abnormalities can be another possible sign of lupus. For example, this test can reveal anemia, which is a common symptom of lupus. Note that this test does not diagnose lupus by itself. Many other conditions can also cause similar abnormalities.